Welcome to church for Home of Christ Kids. I'm Miss Stacy, and as you probably know, we are on a very specific mission this month. We are all about being committed to getting stronger as Christians. And in this study of becoming stronger followers of God, we are using the example of an athlete. An athlete who is committed to their training to put in the hard work to get better and stronger so that they are successful. And we want to be successful in our spiritual lives as well, right? And last week, we heard about how reading the Bible and studying the Bible is one way to get stronger. And today, we will hear about another way that God created for us to get stronger and to be closer with Him. But first, our special guests some very elite athletes who join us here every week. Our Swift Water Duck Racers. Ladies and gentlemen, these top athletes practice and train and work out every day so they can perform at the very top of their sport. And we're really so lucky to have these world-class athletes with us each week. And today they'll be competing in another race, race number three. It will be a hard fought battle to the finish today, that's for sure. Who will win the coveted prize? Will it be yellow, blue, or pink? Do you have a favorite? Now, many of you submitted your guess as to who you thought would take home the prize today. Let's see how you did. Okay, well, it looks like the duckies are ready at the starting gate. So, let's go live to today's race.
pulls off the win. Clearly, all the extra training Pink put in this week helped them win this exhausting race. Great job, Pink Ducky. And let's take a look at the winner's board to see who selected Pink for the win today. Great job, guys. Now, everybody at home, don't forget, you can send us your pick for next week's race, race number four, and the details on how to do that are in the printable home materials. Well, now that the ducks have completed their workout for the day, I think it's time for us to begin ours. And our next training tip in how to get spiritually stronger is coming up a little later. So look for that lesson from Luke chapter 11 at the end of this video. So until next week, remember that we love you and God is good all the time. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me safe to shore.
been my dream to be a street loser. <laughs> Going down steep inclines at incredible speeds while lying on my back, feeling the wind in my back. And today is the day that dream comes true. Nothing is gonna get in my way. <laughs> mm. oh, I forgot my helmet! <laughs> John! Oh, oh, Brandon! Brandon, thank what? you for rescuing me! I can't do it! I'm so scared, I can't be a street loser! Well, if it's any consolation, John, you'll always be a loser to me. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The So-and-So Show. I am Brandon. And I am John. Chew your words. Chew your uh, words. We've got a great day planned for you. Isn't that right, John? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah is German for yes, in case you were wondering. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. <laughs> can't loop, can't loop a lot. Can't a loop, can't loop a lot. And we have a very special guest coming up on the show, and John is a little nervous about Ms. it. Miss Millicent Protzig, my theater teacher. Mm -hmm. Theater. Theater. <laughs> That's right. Theater. She'll be, she'll be here in a minute. Uh huh. I recently auditioned for a community theater production of War and Peace, the musical, and I got cast in a role, so I need some help with my enunciation. Enunciation, huh? I'm. I'm pretty good at that, but why don't you, just in case, explain what enunciation is to the folks out there. All right. It is the practice of clearly pronouncing your words so they are easy for everyone to hear and understand. 
I'm sorry, could you repeat that? It is the practice I'm of- I'm kidding. Oh. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. I have arrived. <gasps> uh, come on in and have a seat. Nonsense. When you sit, you lose all of your energy. Everyone stand! Oh, oh. Hello, Ms. Protzink. Oh, Jonathan, it is so good to see you. I hear you need help with your enunciation. <laughs> he sure does. What was that? I was just saying that he sure... Uh, uh, dear boy, I cannot understand a word that you're saying. I, I, I do need help with enunciation, Ms. Pratzig. It appears that you're not the only one. <laughs> Wait, are you referring to me? No idea what you're saying. No, I just... Yeah, shh! Prattle no longer, my weak-lipped friend. It is time to play the ancient theater game known as... Spittle Spattle! Spittle Spattle! This exercise will allow you to let your salivary glands and your vocal folds go. Salivary glands? I will give you a phrase to say. You will take a sip of water and then proceed to say the phrase as distinctly as possible. Why? What did he say? He said, why? Well, every good stage actor knows that the more you spit when you speak, the more clearly understood you will be. Oh. Again, no clue. I just said, oh. Let us begin. Take a sip. And repeat after me. Bombastic prepositions. Bombastic prepositions. <laughs> Bombastic, Bombastic prepositions. prepositions. Again, again. Oh, okay. Bombastic, Bombastic prepositions. prepositions. Bombastic, Bombastic prepositions. You both need to use your lips, your lungs, and your loudness more. Take another sip. Second phrase. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Pumpernickel pretzel bites. Oh, 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 much, much better. <laughs> now, one more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 55 feet of frivolous, flimsy flapjacks. Mm. <laughs> frivolous <laughs> of frivolous, <laughs> flimsy flapjacks. 55 feet of frivolous, flimsy, flimsy flapjacks. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, let's see who won. Oh, how can you tell? Shh, just let her do her thing. Well, clearly, Jonathan is the more advanced expectorator. Oh, wow. Uh, thanks, Miss Protzig. He's what? What? Come on! I'm the best spitter. Indeed you are. You are fully prepared for your upcoming production. By the by, mm. what part did you get? Oh, um, I'm tree number two. Tree number two. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as they say, there are no small parts, only I exit stage right. Oh. Wow, isn't that great? What? It's What is up? Kellen! Kellen! Whoa! Brandon, I've never heard you speak so so clearly. Really? Chalk it up to the genius of Miss Protzig. What have you got for us, Kellen? Man, I mean really clear. Anyway, today we're talking about a very important practice 
that everyone needs to learn. I'm talking about prayer. When it comes to praying, Jesus set a great example for us. He never missed an opportunity to spend time alone with his heavenly father. Jesus even taught his disciples how to pray. Today, we call that the Lord's Prayer. What is, oh no. Glad you came, glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story. On the Mel Solomon story recap. Kellen, buddy, so glad to have you back on my show. I'm Mel Solomon, and this handsome fella tickling the ivories right over here is my brother in law, Greg. Say hello, Greg. <laughs> Always the scene stealer, that Greg. You're a scene stealer, am I right? <laughs> How could he not be with that handsome mug? Hey, Melv. Yeah, Kellen, what's going on, mi compadre? Uh, just trying to teach everyone about the Lord's Prayer. Lord's Prayer? I love the Lord's Prayer. Say no more, Kellen. I'd be happy to jump in with a little ditty from time to time. Don't have to ask me twice. But I didn't ask you once. Ah! So Jesus' disciples asked him to teach them how to pray. Jesus replied, when you pray, this is what you should say. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. So when you pray, you can start by telling God how amazing he is. Beautiful words for a beautiful ditty. Hit it, Greg. 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 I have a handsome mug. <laughs> Stayed up a little late watching the telly, didn't you? I knew it. Play the tune. That's the one. God, you're great. God, you're awesome. When you made the universe, you weren't playing opossum. You're the best, you're the top, you're the cream of the crop. But I'm still confused why you made mosquitoes. Back to you, Kellen. All right. Next, Jesus told his disciples to pray this. Give us each day our daily bread. Oh, I got the perfect song for that one. Hit it, Greg. Greg. Greg! It's a cup with a handle. Play the song, Greg. Yeah. Now we're cooking. You say holla, I say ciabatta. You say sourdough, I say soda. Chala, ciabatta, sourdough, soda. Just don't forget I'm gluten-free. What a prayer, Kellen. What a prayer. Uh-huh. Just to be clear, God wasn't saying to only pray for different kinds of bread. Jesus was telling us to be open and honest about the needs in our life. God wants to hear about it all. Jesus finished his prayer this way. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. Let's be honest. We all make bad choices from time to time. We all sin. We all need forgiveness. So Jesus reminded us to go to God for that forgiveness and to ask him to help us make wiser choices. And also, we should be willing to forgive people when they sinned against us. Love it. Love it. How about I sing one more tune summing up the whole shebang? I don't think that's really necessary. Hit it, Greg. 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 I'm awake. Oh. Coffee. Yes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Atta baby. Who's awesome? You are. Who gives me what I need? You do. Who forgives me? That's you. Cause it's just what you do. Remind me to love people how you've shown you love me. Who feels better? That's me, cause I talk to you. I'm not gonna lie, that was lovely. I know. Let's hear that whole prayer one more time. Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. Keep us from falling into sin when we are tempted. That's beautiful, Kellen. Hey, Greg. How about I take you out for a fresh loaf of bread to go with that mug of Joe, huh? 
All right, right. Catch you later, Kellen. Bye, man. I'm outie. I didn't mean right now, Greg. Mid after the show. So, what'd you guys think of the Lord's Prayer? I think it's great. I've already got it memorized. Ready? Father, may your name be honored. May your kingdom come. Sounds great. But you know, you don't have to say it all proper like that. God will totally understand even if you don't pronounce each word perfectly. You don't even have to use the exact words Jesus used. So we don't just recite this prayer? Oh, uh, well, you can if you want, but you can totally pray it in your own words too. We can tell God he's awesome, ask for him to provide for our needs, ask for forgiveness when we mess up, and tell him everything we need help with. It's important to speak from the heart. I just think that it's amazing that the creator of the universe actually loves to hear from us. You're right about that. Hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. Ah, no problem. It's what I do. I'll see you guys. I'm glad we learned how to pray today. I'm going to need all the help I can get to play the pivotal role of tree number two, right? Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Well, your enunciation is going to be great. Hey, what are your lines I don't have any lines. I'm a tree. Yoda met Yeti on the plains of Serengeti. Yoda met Yeti on the plains of Serengeti. Yoda met Yeti on the- Reveal the question! Oh, how do you pray to God? Do you sing or whisper? Do you pray in your head or pronounce everything with perfect enunciation and sizzle? Do you pray inside or outside, in the dark or upside down in a tree? However you pray, talk about it with each other. Yeah, hey, hey, learn something from each other. And we'll see you next time on The, the so, so and So Show. The So and So, and so, so Show. Am I saying that right? Yes. The So, so and so and Chew Your Words. Chew Your Words. So, so and So, so Show. show.